think sometimes as guys, we can be a little bit oblivious to our own results with things. And uh, in this video, I'm going to go over the five signs that you might have that mean that you struggle with women. So uh, let's get started. So point number one is that you just only speak about yourself. Now, I think it's a little too obvious for people that when someone is incredibly nervous or perhaps maybe insecure about themselves, then all they do is just talk, talk, talk about themselves rather than genuinely asking questions about the other person. And what can tend to happen is that sometimes people do tend to overshare things that they probably need to either keep to themselves or perhaps maybe they end up talking too much that they come across a little bit too egotistical. I've done this or, oh, I'm really proud of that. Oh, I've got this kind of job and things. And what can tend to happen is that that can be very off-putting, not just for women, but for just anyone in general. So just bear in mind that maybe oversharing or over-talking and not asking the other person questions to find out more about them can be a bit off-putting and mean that that person just won't be attracted to you at all. Sign number two is that you talk about completely irrelevant topics to what a woman might be interested in. So I think a great example here is just recently I was at Comic-Con and I think it would be a really bizarre if a guy went to go and talk to a woman at Comic-Con and didn't talk about anything from Comic-Con. You know, you're going to have women then look at you going like, well, what, what has this got to do with anything? Rather than talking about something that someone's going to have a genuine interest in and fascination in that could have a genuinely good conversation come out of it. So when you're talking to women, why not have a think about, you know, what topics could you essentially talk about with her that you could both find some commonality in, something that is going to get a conversation going that's going to drive that curiosity and find... I don't know, some like middle ground that you can both connect on. Now, sign number three that you just don't know how to talk to women is that you just keep on insulting her. Now, don't get me wrong, the old school negging certainly does work, but the idea with that is that you are teasing women rather than insulting them. And I think the problem these days is that if a guy just hasn't got enough uh, social skills in place or social intelligence, he just hasn't picked up on the cues that maybe some of the uh, the backhanded compliments that he might be giving might be genuinely insulting to someone and could be one of the reasons why she's not interested in pursuing a conversation or a date with the guy. So when you're giving a compliment or even a backhanded compliment to someone, just think about like, are you insulting the girl if you're going to be saying something like that? And if maybe you have insulted women, then maybe use that as a lesson of like, okay, I'm not going to use that as a, uh, a compliment again. Sign number four is that you're mumbling or you don't talk clearly enough with the women that you're talking to. Guys, when they're nervous, their anxiety gets the better of them and they just find themselves like mumbling and the girls can't hear what they're saying or they can't understand them because they're just talking way too fast. A bit like how I am in this video, but bear with me because I think you can understand what I'm saying. But with a lot of guys though, if they do get too anxious, they talk way too quickly and it's impossible for the women to keep up. So if you are someone who potentially is talking too quickly, slow down, relax, take deep breaths. And I can assure you, you will come across a lot more confidently than you are portraying if you are talking as fast as a speeding train. And sign number five that you're struggling with talking to women is that you just aren't being direct enough and not getting to the point in why you are talking to her. It's very well and all to go and start conversations with a lot of women, whether it be through day game, cold approaching, at events or on the street. But if you aren't getting to the point, if you aren't getting to the point or purpose of saying to her that you're attracted to her or that you'd like to take her out on a date or that you want to grab her phone number 
remember, then she's going to wonder why on earth you are talking to her in the first place. People don't necessarily want to just have random conversations with people. They might be open to it, but at the end of the day, everyone has that feeling or that sensation that people want to take something from them. So just get to the point with your intentions. Don't waste her time. Don't waste your time. And you'll get a very straight and honest answer whether she is interested in going on a date with you or not. So hopefully this uh, gives you an idea of the five possible signs that you might be struggling with women. And if you are, then I suggest that you certainly go to a dating coach for help because they will help you to overcome these issues by causing you to go into lots of interactions, desensitize yourself with conversations with strangers and find that you will just develop your confidence in uh, in general so if you can please like the video subscribe to the channel this video was something just a little bit different i wanted to try and do something that was a bit faster pace and to the point so let me know your thoughts if you like this kind of video and even the topic that i covered too but if you can do subscribe to the channel stay up to date on more content that i am going to be putting out to help you overcome your anxiety and show you that you can have a much more confident and happier date in life and get the results that you want in turn